We are back going our normal test route. Um, it's got done hiking today. Unfortunately, the navigation is still wrong on this section. As you can see, there's a straight arrow right here. Navigation wants us to go back this direction, which this is only a one way. You're not supposed to do that. Technically, of course, you could, turn left onto but not supposed to, and you're just going to impede traffic and cause issues. Um, so I'm going to wait. Also, we want to go this direction on navigation to keep our route consistent. So I'm going to drive us here until we go. Um, you know, as much as I love the weather today, it's 69 degrees outside. It's absolutely incredible weather for January 1st um, in this area. It should be in the 40s or 50s right now as normal weather uh, for this time of the year. Let's see once it re-navigates us. It really should still, th this is not quite accurate, this curb right here. Um, and so it thinks it's closer to that curve than it really is. That was a really good turn right there. Uh, close my window up some so it doesn't have as much outside noise. So I uh, still didn't read that speed limit sign. Technically I should be going 25 right now, not 35. But of course we just passed the 35, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, it's, it's odd that it has such a hard time still reading speed limit signs. Either it uses map data and it overrides it, or it just doesn't read it. One of the two. There's only two options. Either it's using prioritizing map data over the speed limit sign, or it's um, just not reading the sign. Uh, which, either way, I think it's bad. Um, it should be reading the sign over the map data. See how it does with this roundabout here. See how that car went in there? That's how mine should do that. It's gonna. It's just gonna stop. I'm pressing the accelerate. I'm let go of it. It does great as long as you hold the accelerator into the, the roundabout. It does great, but it for whatever reason decides it's just gonna stop instead of yield going through the roundabout. So situations like this where that car pulled out there, previous updates would jam on a brake and brake too harshly. This did it fabulously. It slowed down just a little bit until it caught up to it and of course adjust the speed as necessary. And it did a very good job. See how it does getting in this small lane here. Small turn lane. It has failed the last two times. It needs to get over sooner. So I made it because there wasn't another car there. It thinks only one car can fit in here for some reason. So we got a blinking yellow. It's gonna use the wait for this car and it's good to go. I did not I did not touch Okay, I'm having to press the accelerator. I was gonna say I did not touch the accelerator at all. Like, it's breaking completely right here. Like, why? Like, that type of behavior doesn't make any sense. I can't think of any logical reason why it would break. I will, like, I wish Tesla would be like, would I would explain the nitty gritty detail and like, is there something like the computer's seeing? Is it like lagged? Is it like having latency or something? Like, causing it to break right there? There's nothing at all that would make it indicate it should be breaking. <laughs> it still says Kanuga wrong. Again, it's Kanuga, not Kanugar. That's wrong. <laughs> it tries to get in the turn lane. It thinks, I, I guess it must, I, I think I just figured out what the logic is. It thinks the turn lane goes all the way around and it wants to get in the turn lane and go all the way through the turn lane up to here. And said it, this is where it needs to get in the turn lane right here. Actually, I do believe this might be the first time we've ever had a zero disengagement drive on this, everyone. Obviously, um, I had to stop it there. 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and park it here real quick. I actually already went in the store yesterday and, and closed anyway today. So we're gonna go ahead and turn around and re-navigate us. Okie dokie. Um, it's the first time I'm trying waypoints on this route, so we're gonna. It thinks there's a lane right here. This is not accurate. Waiting for turn, and then it goes. Excellent. Looks like you can handle this good. I just I didn't have to press the accelerator to make it a little bit more confident. So I think those people are waiting on me to, to get over to cross. Now your destination is on the left. Okay, we go off to our next navigation point here. So I did this yesterday. Spoiler alert, and actually did it very well. So we're gonna see if it does the same thing well again. Um, I was just curious how it would do. It actually did it very naturally going around the curves, the way it kind of crossed the yellow line just a little bit. But you know, it for the, the curb on the side, and you got the yellow line and the curves are kind of, uh, they meander back and forth. It actually did a really good job and not kind of like robotically going through the curves. And so it handled that much better than previous updates would, because, um, it normally would have saw that car and jammed on the brakes, but this time it used regen and slowly eased into it. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the right. I think at this point we can probably cancel this nav point. And... Oh, well. That messed up. I hate how navigation is so difficult to re-navigate quickly. Um, well, we'll just not do that. I'm not sure why I'm stopping at the yield sign here. There's no pedestrians. I'm pressing the accelerator to get it to go a little bit quicker. And that wasn't a disengagement either. So this is the first time ever We've had back-to-back -back zero disengagement drives here. Um, wow. So that clearly, 10.8 is an improvement in Hendersonville. Very much an improvement in Hendersonville. So I'm glad to see that. Um, this is gonna be the end of this particular route. Next, we're gonna go our route to Oldie and back home from there. And that will just kinda give a test. I do not expect that one to be zero disengagement. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everyone watching. I'm glad 10.8 is doing good in Hendersonville. If you have questions for me, put it down below, and I'll see you in the next video.